Happy Teachers Appreciation Week. And from someone who is the child of a teacher, the sister of a teacher, the sister-in-law of a teacher, and the daughter of the best teacher ever, Happy Teachers Appreciation Day. And in honor of all the teachers in my life and in your life, I wanna talk and teach you, educate you a little bit about the basics of probate and what exactly that is. And so students, welcome to class. Firstly, I wanna talk about estate planning to begin with, uh, talk about probate to begin with, and to really delve into it. What exactly is the probate process? First of all, I want to give you a little schooling on the probate process and selecting that attorney. Most probate attorneys take a retainer and they do not do those cases on a contingency basis. So what does that mean for you? That means if you're writing the will, think about how much it's going to cost you to probate that will. So for your loved ones after you pass away, to take that will to the courthouse, for you to present that will to the court, for the court to give, her, give them letters testamentary in order to collect your assets and distribute the assets. That costs real money, people. And for many people, what I've seen is they left the will, but no resources to probate that will. The, their loved ones never probate the will. And then guess what? A probated will, that's just wishes. And wishes can either be granted or not. Only a probated will makes your will be done. And therefore, always remember that. Maybe instead of writing just a simple will, you may want to do a trust, or you may want to do transfer on death deeds, or you may want to set up beneficiaries, you name it. Please seek a, an attorney that works for you, that can lead you to the right decision just for you. And for all the teachers spent, one more probate base, basic. What exactly is probate? Probate is taking things out of your deceased loved one's name and putting it in their beneficiary's name or their heir's name or whoever that they designate. Or really, if you don't have a will, whoever the, whoever the state of Texas tells you. Don't be that person. Make sure at a minimum you have a will and better yet, a trust that's properly funded. So from your teacher, two tips for the day. And in honor of Teachers Appreciation Week again, thank you. Bye. Hello, thank you for watching our video. And because you made it to the end of that video, we're offering you our new estate planning handbook. This is a wonderful tool and I'm sure you like it. Go ahead, download the link and let's get learning together.